I uh, started with St George Cricket Club. Uh, I used to do the scoreboard for the first and second graders um, from about the age of 12 till 16 and then started playing cl uh, second grade with St George. Worked myself up into the first grade team and then was lucky enough to get picked for New South Wales at the age of 21 and um, certainly enjoyed a couple of years playing for New South Wales and then the opportunity come to come up to move to, to Melbourne to play for Victoria when David Hooks come on as coach. Played a couple of years for, for Victoria which was great fun as well. Love love my time playing with St Kilda and St George. I've been lucky to play um, a fair bit of first grade cricket for both clubs and, and win a few premierships and you know and, and played with some great players. Um, still playing now um, at 38, nearly 39 so you know still really enjoy playing the game and uh, hopefully can keep playing for another couple of years. Lucky to play with, with um, some strong strong guys that have gone on to, to have really good first class careers and, and play for Australia. St George, uh, Brad McNamara who um, was a good player for New South Wales and St George, Michael Klinger, Bobby Quiney who's, who's still playing, Michael Beer who has been a great player for St Kilda and, and has had a great cricket journey and uh, is playing for St Kilda again this year so yeah, learn a lot from them and I've been lucky to play on two really good good grounds, uh, the, the wicket at Hurstville and obviously the, the ground here at the Junction, both wickets are very good and both very strong clubs so so that helps and, and you know, I've been lucky to play for, for you know, close to 20 years now of first grade cricket so hopefully if you play for 20 years you're going to score, score a few runs um, and you know, I certainly still enjoy my batting like it's, uh, I feel I can still bat quite well. The, the fielding certainly dropped away, not, not great in the field, but hopefully um, can keep scoring some runs for St Kilda for the next couple of years. Every, everyone comes through their club cricket to, to play for their state and then then Australia. So it's it's the it's the you know the, the grounding um, area for, for all young players. Um, it's where you, you you learn the game and you, you're taught the game by a few of the older older guys in the team. I, I'm twice the age of a few of the guys in our team, so it's my responsibility to to make sure I'm passing on uh, advice and trying to help their their cricket journey. I, I was certainly lucky when I first started playing first grade cricket to get good advice from Brad McNamara, Paul Ryan, and a few of the other experienced guys um, that, that were in the St George team. So um, that, that's my responsibility now to, to hopefully create a good environment for all the young guys where they can you know, love love the game and improve um, as much as possible. It's a massive gesture from, from all the, the current first class uh, players in Australia to to support this um, this initiative uh, and it, it's uh, it's so crucial to, to try and keep experienced players and, and drag some players uh, back into into Premier Cricket. I noticed at the, the meeting pre-season there was a lot of guys that, that I hadn't seen for, for a couple of years being involved in, in Premier Cricket so it's fantastic to see them back into into Premier Cricket and, and helping their respective clubs. You know I've been lucky to, to play in two states and you know, I've got lifelong friends from the game and, and just going out there and enjoying enjoying the game with your mates. Oh, I love the game, you know I live and breathe it, think about it, it all the time, you know it's a it's the most important thing apart from my kids and, and my wife, it's, it's the most important thing um, in my life so yeah hopefully that, that enthusiasm for cricket rubs off on the other guys and you know, we, we can all enjoy it together. It's probably just one year at a time at the moment, but I'll certainly be playing cricket somewhere for, for the next couple of years. I'm lucky enough to do some uh, coaching with the under-19 uh, Victorian country team, so love being involved with, with cricket, and um, yeah, hopefully can, that can continue. I, I do enjoy coaching, yeah, yeah. I've been lucky enough to do the under-17 Victorian team the last couple of years, and, and now the un, under-19 team. I really enjoy coaching at that level. Like, I, It's great to see the young boys come through and... and uh, you know how keen they are and, and, and enthusiastic and and then you get to watch their progress over over the next couple of years so you know, I really enjoy that that coaching at that level. I was lucky enough to go through the ju junior cricket pathway I suppose in, in Sydney play under 17s for New South Wales and under 19s and then into to first class cricket so it's you know I, I certainly can relate to the boys coming through and and with their hopes and dreams for their cricket um, so hopefully I can pass on you know the the mistakes I I made and, and certainly the, the the good decisions that I made pass on the, the good advice. I've got two two young daughters, about two and a half and one and a, one. They they're, they're quite close in age, and a wife who is letting me play cricket at the moment. So that's a, it's such a time consuming sport. So hopefully she allows me to or they allow me to keep playing for another couple of years and and stay involved at a, at a cricket club somewhere. You know, in, in the next couple of years. Work as a I'm a warehouse manager for a a tile company, Coulson Tiles, 
Um, so the hours working quite well with, with cricket training and, and being allowed to, to do some coaching.